Raise your hand in the back if you can hear me. Yo, way back there. Yeah. All right, there's no excuse then. Everybody here, welcome to San Diego Holly Davidson. We got a blood drive going on, and we really appreciate I'm going to get some numbers pretty soon. We, got, we had 75 people signed up in advance, and it's been cooking all day. I got Scott Jacobs and his daughters over here. Everybody knows Scott Jacobs' artwork. If you didn't see him on The Secret Millionaire last Sunday, there's an encore performance this tonight, 10 o'clock tonight, ABC Television. Scott Jacobs with his daughter Alexa, and it was awesome, man. You had to see it. Undercover in Newark, New Jersey, in a drug house, and he ended up giving away tons and tons of stuff to homeless shelters, veterans groups, and on and on like that. It was amazing. So Scott's over here. He's got plenty of stuff. He's got stuff to sell, he's got stuff to autograph, and just to meet the guy and meet his daughter Alexa and I mean, the whole family, they're all there. Um, the blood drive numbers are coming up. We're going to get ready to kick this off officially, and we're going to have Trisha St. George. Hey, and, and look at this. This guy is really not a guy. He's really a puppy. He's really a Boston Terrier reincarnated into some guy that keeps on coming around here on his motorcycle. What is <laughs> With his new, with his new little guy. <laughs> hey, Chopper. Okay, you know the dogs have names, but the guys are not important. So, this is only—it's all about the dogs. But anyway, Trisha St. George has come up and sing the national anthem in a couple of minutes. I just want to tell you guys: Are you paying attention? Because I love the Star Spangled Banner. That's our national anthem. And I just want to say something about it real quick. I'm not going to go into my whole thing. I did that last week in Washington, D.C. But I just want to tell you this. The National Anthem was written by Francis Scott Key when he was a POW on a British warship. Off the, co the East Coast on a British ship firing on the United States of America, Fort McHenry in the War of 1812. The War of 1812, 200 years ago this year, the National Anthem was written by a POW who watched the battle from the ship he was on shooting against the Americans, his people, the British, shooting us, the cannons blasting Fort McHenry. And they watched it all night till it got pitch dark. And then the only way they could see it is by the rocket's red glare and the bombs bursting in air. And they could see the flag, the American flag, flying. And the only reason they could see it was because of all the lights from the cannon that were actually killing Americans. And the Americans were being piled up by that flagpole because that's the only way that flag was able to stay up because of the bodies that they piled up against it. And as it, the darkness turned to dawn, and he turned to his friends and he said, Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed in the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight on the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And that's basically our national anthem, just written from the heart of a POW, just loving his country, loving his flag, and what it stood for. So it's not a war song, it's really not. It's a love song. It's about the love of America and the love of the flag that symbolizes what this country is all about. So I'm going to invite Tricia St. George to come up and sing a beautiful rendition. She did it last year. And pay attention to the words and think about Francis Scott Key writing it 200 years ago. Our national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. Thank you. That's all right, man. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air 
Patricia St. George. That was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah, she should do the Padre game. Maybe they'd win. <laughs> hey, and for anybody else that doesn't know it, there's a Harley Davidson casting call going on here. You can see the tent. It's right next to Scott Jacobs. And they're specifically looking for young writers. And they want to sign them up. They're going to do a, a, a photo interview inside. They're actually shooting a commercial in two weeks in San Diego. And they need about 30 to 40 writers. So male, female, every color, creed, any, whatever. Just sign up, especially if you could ride, and especially if you're under 30 years old. So it's right over there. Just see Petrina and get yourself signed up and have a lot of fun with it. And if you get picked, if you get picked, you're gonna get paid up to 500 bucks a day. What about young and heart? So that's pretty cool. What about young heart? What? Young and heart. Young and heart. Go sign up. You can't hear it. All they can do is say no. But they won't turn you away for being ugly. Oh shit. So don't worry about that part. Just the old part. So what does that look alike? All right. All right, hey, Jennifer Bradley from the Blood Bank. Listen, guys, we have this here every year. The Blood Bank, the blood bank really needs our help. They do a lot for our community. And before we hear from Streetheart, the next band, getting set up, Jennifer Bradley wants to say something to everybody. Please pay attention. Jennifer Bradley from the Blood Bank. Thanks, Mike. I've got two people I want to honor today, so I hope that you'll help me in honoring these two folks. Um, maybe Mark, could you come over here a little bit more? Um, Mark Schaefer, most of you know Mark, and Mark is somebody who when he sees a need, um, he finds a way to meet that need. And Mark um, and his dogs um, go out in the community, and they're local heroes, and, and Mark and his dogs go out and they make a, a difference in the community. And on any given weekend, you can see Mark with his endless energy at some event in San Diego, making a difference somehow and being a hero. All of you here today are heroes, but I do want to honor Mike today because four years ago, he got a vision of putting together a blood drive when um, Bandit passed away and he wanted to memorialize the work that he and Bandit do out in the community. And he decided to put together a blood drive. And he made it a goal to collect 100 pints and he started this blood drive four years ago. And I want to, um, the San Diego Blood Bank would like to honor Mark for his work um, in the community. He has collected to date about more than 400 pints. Today we're trying to collect 120 pints. And so we thank him for all of his work he's done in saving lives in San Diego. Can you give him a hand, please. This man does a lot of work. Thank you. And the second award that the San Diego Blood Bank would like to present is to um, San Diego Harley Davidson. And um, New York Mike and San Diego um, Harley um, have given numerous resources to encourage the community to come out and donate blood. And they're forever willing to help out and they give, they understand the need in the community for this ongoing resource. Those of you that are donating today, you understand if you haven't donated, we always need blood. And um, this organization under understands that when there's a critical need, when tragedy strikes, we have accidents on the road, when illness strikes, there is always a need for blood. And so we thank you for your commitment and support to the San Diego Blood Bank. Thank you very much. Give Mike a hand, please. So thank you. If you're not giving blood today, I would encourage you to donate blood. Only 36% of the population is eligible to give. Um, someone in a car accident could use 50 pints before they even get to the hospital. We're trying to collect 120 pints today. We're at 88 pints, I believe. So we've got three buses and we'll be here till three o'clock. If you would like to donate blood, we'd love to have you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Hey, that's awesome. San Diego Blood Bank, and let me tell you something. I don't know, we, we forget fast, but it wasn't that long ago, just two Thanksgivings ago, that, that uh, the saddle tramps had that tragedy. We have a, a young Marine here who was almost killed on his motorcycle. I'm sure he's going to be up here sometime shortly. And it's a miracle he's still around. But if it wasn't for blood banks and, and people like these people right here, um, we wouldn't have a chance. And today we have a lot more than a chance. Miracles happen every day because people like Jennifer Bradley get out there, Mark Schaefer gets out there, and you show up here. And you're showing up here and supporting this blood bank. 88 pints, and it's only 12.
12.30. We started at 11 o'clock. We still have two and a half hours to go. So we're going to way past that 120 pint mark. And we're real proud of that. So thank you. Everybody have a great time. I want to thank my entire staff, especially Trisha Marshall for putting this all together and working as hard as she always does. Jen, my entire motor clothes staff, everybody else who helps out. And even the people cooking the hot dogs back there. You guys have a great time. We love you at San Diego Harley Davidson. Thanks for being here. And thanks for your blood. Your blood. We want your blood. Street Hearts coming up.